Hello again. I have a question from Nidge Nidge. He's a prolific poster, which is good. He has good questions. And this is one that says, so I have this really nasty sticking point. When I open a group, I end up opening the obstacle and the others, including my target, are not included. So basically what you're saying is you're going in, you go for the obstacle to disarm them, and you get stuck with them, okay? So straight off the barrel, open the whole group, okay? Come in, you have to be high energy in a loud club, because you've also mentioned that's very hard Sarge in loud clubs, and uh, you're, not, you're not getting your point across, and that you can do that really easily in day game. Okay, yes. Nightclubs or high energy bars or loud places seem to be harder, but it's just knowing what to do at the right time. Nothing is impossible or hard if you know what to do. So basically, you wanna be opening with higher energy, higher than theirs is better, because they notice you and you're more fun and interesting. In a nightclub environment, you need to be quicker when you're opening, so your openers need to be fast, efficient and powerful and interesting and maybe a bit cheeky chappy okay to uh, spite sexuality because you are in a more sexual place than walking down the street or in a park so remember them tips they're really important when you're picking your right opener in the right uh, environment and situation okay it's a great place to lead as well like if, if you can't hear what someone replies to you or you want to say something you go that's rather loud you come over and hear me lead take your hand lead them to where you want to go and then you can go to a lock-in corner and start speaking in a quieter area it's a perfect natural excuse to isolate the target but when i go in a good one to use of mine would be uh hey girls you look or hey group you know hey guys whatever you want to use you look like the fun group here, the stylish group, but who's got the best shoes on tonight? And then you look down and you point at the shoes, you do a big uh, demonstrative act about it all, and they all look down and they start qualifying themselves. They're lifting up their shoes going, I have, some of them are saying, oh, she has. And then say, oh, let me see, start grabbing random girls out of the, the circle and spinning them. Now you're moving and leading them. It's much more fun and exciting. You can high five a few of them saying, yeah, I fucking love them shoes, they're killer. You know, and then you can look at your target and say, What do you think's better? Good shoes, point at the shoes, or good sex, point at yourself. And then she'll answer, You know what? They normally do say sex, believe it or not. Then you can always follow up with, I like both, and do this signal, I like both, because remember, you're, it's in a loud place, so you need to act out what you're saying in the body language, which we know is 70%, maybe 90% of communication. So I like both at the same time, but not on my waterbed. Little joke, she laughs as she laughs, Kino her, saying it's good that you laugh, you've got a sense of humour to go with your looks, or you've got a sense of humour to go with your shoes. So these are all spiking questions that you're getting in, like, seconds every second or a couple of seconds you're getting in spike uh scenarios questions talking pebbles and so on it's really really powerful and in a loud clubby environment that's exactly what you need to get the girl um you can pull over to the side you can say yeah it's really loud here you can uh, you can stack on another opener and close say look i've got i've got to carry on party with my friends Obviously, I'm a big deal in this club. And laugh, make it a joke that you said that. And then close it, say you're Facebook friendly, get the Facebook, then say, right, I'm gonna see you. Get, give her a high five, give her a spin. And then as you're spinning, hold on to the hand and say, but listen, you better not be following me all night because I know your type. And give a little cheeky wink. She laughs, let go out of the hand, and now you've gone. You showed the power to leave as well. And the great thing is, uh, if you bump into her later on in the club, you can always like pretend to hide from her so she sees it, which is a sexual thing as well. And say, oh God, I knew you were my new stalker. I knew you were my new stalker. Why do you keep following me? And then you have that joke and you've got more rapport now because you've been speaking to her earlier where you can say, actually, yeah, let's have a drink together. Or you can say, this place is stale. Let's get another drink in the bar across the road. A lot more fun. And bounce her to another venue. Or even, dare it or not, you can bounce her home. So uh, there you go. And the last thing is obviously opening, if there is an obstacle or a cock block in the way as you open, all you need to do is as you're opening, look at them with a big smile and say, so they're the first one that gets it. Hey, you guys look really stylish here, but I've got a question. 
who's got the best shoes, and then look at the whole group, who's got the best shoes on tonight? Kino as many of them as possible. If you can only reach the ones at the side, that's great. This is building rapport with all of them and showing a connection. So I hope all that helps. I try to say it fast as possible so you can uh, get on with whatever you're doing. So uh, see you in field. Next up, over and out.